All right, so this is a quick video about uh, reman cores for uh, diesel trucks and generally things of value. So this is a, a turbo and actuator for a Ram 3500. It's a 2015 model. So this turbo is generally in good condition. Like it spins still and there's no play in or out. But the problem is that the actuator not the actuator, but the moving assembly is completely locked up for the variable geometry. So that's not going anywhere. The truck actually, when I got it, like it was uh, locked up and I knew there was something wrong with that at the beginning. The vehicle's priced accordingly. But it had been like this for probably years before I bought the truck and then I drove it like that for a year. And just kinda, it was adequate with throwing codes and what have you. But besides that, there's still some value in these if they're not all monkeyed around with. If you have the whole actuator and the uh, bands and everything here, B&D diesel as one option will pay 400 Canadian for this outright without buying anything from them. They'll just send you a shipping label and you gotta find a way to package it safely and fire it back to them. And then I just happened to buy a used Reman turbo from them and uh, it's $700 Canadian for the exchange on that. So I guess they, they want you to send one back so they can keep things kind of rolling on their end. So there's a bit more of a price incentive to get you to hurry up and return it. Otherwise, they'll use that money to go and buy turbos off of people like myself, I guess. So, um, yeah, like I said, this thing is jammed up. You could try to get an actuator for your turbo, but it, wouldn't have helped whatsoever. So having that jammed killed the electronics here. And even getting this thing out on a, a truck that runs in the winter, this bottom rear bolt, it's exposed and it gets uh, locked up inside the housing. So you have to kind of side drill it or you could maybe use a zip disc and reach in there and chop it off. You'd leave a line in the core. I don't know if they'd accept that or not. Um, so anyway, to get that off, that's how you do that, just to inspect your turbo. You can't get very good access on the, the newer model, or whatever the term is, because like on these, the shock tower is heftier than the older trucks. So, and the position of the bolts is different. So they're normally, they're up higher, I think, on the uh, older trucks. This, you could take the shock out and drill a hole and get in there. But in the end, I had to get the turbo out. And then this one was a used one from 2014. And it turns out that with them sitting, they'll lock up on their own just from moisture. So the guy I bought it from seemed like a decent guy. And it was should have been a working turbo. But unfortunately, it's kind of intermittent. And it's actually locking up on like the full exhaust brake end of things. And it's uh, creating a ton of pressure. And it's going to blow up my head gasket if I'm not careful. So that's why I've got a third turbo on the go. So I thought I'd just mention that. There's core value for things that's expensive in some cases. Like I've got a NOx sensor. I've got to see if I can send that in for a core return as well because they're pretty small. You can throw them in an envelope and maybe get a couple hundred bucks for it if I'm lucky. I don't know, but this is like 400 bucks to give you a shipping label. I wish you could put it in a pail, but they probably wouldn't like that. So I'm trying to put together a box that uh, will work for them. And then for turbos, I went with uh, a stock size turbo. They're saying for the bigger turbos like the Fleece Cheetah or the BD Screamer are better on top end. But I don't need top end on this truck. I need get up and go off the bottom end. So uh, a stock kind of turbo is the, the way to go for me. And, uh, I don't know, I'm hoping that it's just got a regular kind of cast wheel in it. The billet wheels, apparently, from my reading, they don't necessarily perform as well. But for low production numbers, they're kind of the way they get manufactured. So, hopefully it's all kind of stock. I'll do a video when I get the new turbo in. So that's what the uh, stock job looks like. i got a flashlight here in my pocket. not surprising to see a bit of grease in there from the uh, kind of
crankcase ventilation recirc. So that goes into the charge air cooling system. And uh, in the bottom, that's the turbo drain and uh, coolant connection. And there's an oil feed, a speed sensor is the left one, and then the coolant banjo bolt on there, and the studs. So that's sort of it in a nutshell. So anyway, just a, a quick video. So these things are worth money if you've got them laying around, if you've scrounged trying to do used parts deals like myself. Didn't work out for me, but I'm recouping quite a bit of my money, so it's not the end of the world. And I found out what my truck feels like with a working turbo, and it's amazing. So I'm happy with that. So uh, lose some time and a bit of money to switch turbos around, but uh, I'm happy with uh, the outcome as long as I don't blow my head gasket out in the meantime. So thanks for watching.